Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to show how we can show PDF in our React application. Not just show the PDF, but how to customize the PDF viewer of our React application. Like here you can see, this is the PDF where I have customized the backend, height and the width. Apart from this, I can also select the content of the PDF and I can improve the scaling. I can show it vertically, I can show it horizontally, anything I can do and in the end, I have also integrated the pagination so that I can move between different different pages and I will know how much pages are present in my PDF. So in today's video, I am going to integrate React PDF which is a package which will help us to show the PDF in React application and apart from that, I will show you how we can customize that to get the output which we want. Now before moving forward, I want to let you know that this is my second video related to the PDF. In the last one, I have covered how to upload the PDF from React to MongoDB using Malta in Node.js so that we can also upload the PDF. So this is the final output of my application where I can upload the PDF and at the same time I can show the PDF in a PDF viewer. But in my last video, I have only covered till how to show PDF title. I have not covered how to show the PDF in React application. So if you want, you can watch the previous video also and if not, you just want to show the PDF in React application, then also you can follow because I'm going to cover everything from scratch. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, you can see here, this is my React plus white application where I have written the code to upload the PDF file from React.js to Node.js and MongoDB and in my output currently, all of these things are implemented but when I click on the show PDF, it is navigating to another window to show the PDF but I will integrate it in my own application. So to do that, we want a package name as React PDF. So I will go to Google and search for React PDF. Then I will click on this link npm.js. After this, we have to run this command. So I will copy this. Then I will move on to my code, open the terminal and install this package npmi react PDF. After this, if you want to learn or know about any package, the best way is to go to the documentation. So here, let me just go to the documentation. There are nothing much. So I have imported that and after that we have to add this line in our app.js. So I will come here, copy this, then I will go here first, I will paste that thing and after this we have to import this pdf.js. Let me just start the server also and here I will come and I will just import pdf.js from react pdf and I think that's it for the installation and configuration part. Now I will go to src and let's create another file name as pdfviewer.jsx. In this, let me just write the basic code. Yeah, okay, fine. So I have written the basic code. Then I will go to app.jsx and in the end, I will just import that component. So for now, I will work with a static PDF. So in my asset, I am having this PDF. So I will try to show this PDF. And then in the end of the video, I will map it to the current implementation. So let's see the output. And you can see here I am getting the PDF, so this is fine. Then I will move on to this documentation, just scroll down and let's see how to use that. Yeah, so here I have got this file and here you can see the example of how to integrate the PDF. So in this the main component are document and page. So what I will do, I will go to our code and here I will just remove this H1 and here for now let's write here document which should be imported from React PDF. Okay, and in this document, we have to pass the file. So I will write here file. So here file you can import, but the better way is that you import it above and then pass it there. So here I will write PDF and it should be imported from my asset. So I can just write here like this asset and my PDF file name is test.pdf. Okay, then I will come here and in this file, I will pass this file. Then here inside this document, there are many functions which we can use it for our customization like when the document is loaded successfully then from there we can get the page number and then we can assign the page number so here we have a function name as on load success you can see so there are many functions on load start on load error on load progress using this you can show the loading bar and all but for now i am only going to use on load success and in this i will call a function on document loaded then i will go above and let's create this function in this i will receive the data okay so let me just console it, document loaded and the data. Okay. And after this, let's save this. Let's go and check the output. So here you can see I'm, I've got document loaded. In this, I'm getting num pages and the fingerprint of the document. But here, nothing is visible. 
and the reason is the page number. So inside the document, we have to pass the page number where it will start. So for that, I will write here page. It should also be imported from React PDF and it should not be closed like this. It is a self closing tag like this. Here we have to pass page number. So I will come here and write page number and let's create the state for that. And by default, let's assign it as one. Then I will come here and let's pass that page number. Let's save this and let's see whether we are getting the output or no. And you can see my PDF is loaded. Okay, there are many errors, but that's fine. We will figure out that, but at least for now, my PDF is getting loaded. And you can see in my PDF, there were two pages and both are coming one by one. We have to customize it. So let's see what are the other things we get for customization. For that, I will go to our documentation. And here we can import this two line to make our animation and annotation much more better. So I will come here and just paste it here. Then again, I will come here and this is for the text layer. After adding this, all of our errors will be gone. So I can come here and you can see now the error should not come actually. Yeah, the errors are not coming. And I can also select the text. Previously, I was not able to. Then I will move on and we'll, we'll show you other attributes which you can use to customize it. We can just scroll it down and move to the table. And from here, you can see we can add class name, error, external, file, image source, input ref, loading. You can go through each one by one so that you can customize it as you want. And uh, these are the functions which I was talking about on load error, on load progress, on load success, on source success, canvas and all. So let me just show you some of them. So I will come here. And inside the page number, I can just write a scale, okay? And let's give scale as 1.5 and let's save this. Let's go and check the output. And you can see my document or my PDF is zoomed, okay? So this is the one customization we can do. And apart from the scale, we can also add here rotate. So let's rotate it by 90 degree like this. Save it, come here and you can see my PDF has been rotated. Now we can also pass here width and the height. So let me just give width as 200 and height as 200. Let's save this and you can see it is very, very small and which is better for preview. But in this now you can notice I am only able to see the first page. There is no second page and all. So let's just fix this. I will comment this. Now our motive will be to create next and previous button. So for that we will first create a variable, sorry, state name as numPages which will have our total pages in our application. Sorry, my bad, not application in just one PDF. So here I can extract the numPages like this and I can set the numPages directly. And just to be sure, I will also set here page number to one once my document is loaded. Now let me create two function name as next and the previous page. And I will set here set page number and it will take the previous page like this. And then first we will check that previous page should be less than the total number of pages. Okay. If that is true, then previous minus one so that it will be reduced. Otherwise it will not be reduced and my button will be disabled. Getting my point. In the same way, I will create a function for previous page. My bad, it should be previous plus one. And here also I will set the page number. And this time I will take the previous and I will compare that the previous should be greater than one. Okay. Otherwise, if it is greater than one, I will just reduce the page and otherwise I will not reduce it. Okay. So my next and the previous page is ready. Now let me just add the button here. So here you can see I have created a div with a PDF control. This is a button for previous and this is the button for next where I have written the condition for disabled if page number is less than one then this will be disabled. If page number is greater than num pages, then this will be disabled. And also in this page, we can pass two things, which is render text layer. If this is, okay, render annotation layer also, this we have to set it as true. And apart from this, we can also set text layer as true. Let me just put it false so that I can show you the difference. Let's save this. Let's go to our application. Let's reload this. And yeah, we are getting some error. Okay, data is not defined, my bad. So I will come here and I will just write here name pages. Save this, again go there. 
and yeah my PDF is coming but I am not able to select it is because I have put down my render text layer as false and here you can see I am able to navigate to next and the previous page just like this and if you don't add this condition and if you don't put page number as one all the pages will be shown getting my point so I will come here and I will make this as false so yeah this is how you can show PDF in our react application now only one thing is remaining is that I will go to app.jsx okay here once the show PDF is clicked I have to show the PDF with this file name getting my point so let's do that for that I will go up and let's create a state here name as PDF file comma set PDF file so this is the PDF file which will be open in our viewer because at a time only one PDF file will be shown then I will go to my show PDF where we are forming the URL so this is the URL we are forming and for now we are navigating it to the window so we will not do that I will just set set PDF file and I will set it as URL okay then I will go below and here after this gallery what I will do I will add a condition that if PDF file is true that is it is having the value I will show the PDF viewer okay now here I can just write here PDF is equal equals to PDF file now what is this PDF it is like I am passing it as a prop so I will come here and let's accept that PDF as a prop so like this and then I will just remove this because I have to make it as dynamic let's see I will click on this and you can see it is coming here I will just modify the structure by adding these two classes and here I will just close the div format the document let's save this let's go to our application close this let's reload this and let's click on the show PDF and you can see in the PDF viewer I am getting my PDF along with this all the other PDF are not valid because I have deleted them but this is totally working fine so that's it for the video I hope you have understood each and everything this is how you can show PDF in react application using react PDF if you have any doubt please let me know in comments and also stay tuned for next videos thank you